Well, hello, hello everybody, Monty here from Money Plays Games, and we're playing The Dawn of Man. Just came out March 1st, 2019. Happy birthday to me. I love a game that comes out on March 1st. Anyway, want to take a look at it today. We're going to just be doing a quick little play of the tutorial, uh, and then we're going to get into the game. Uh, if I hit new game, you'll see you got free play, you got challenges, there's community uh, scenarios that will be uh, available. Um, this is from the same folks who brought you Planet Base, which I do have a full series on and knocked out some challenges and resource management, but now in the Stone Age. But today, we're just going to play through the tutorial. So welcome, welcome. Hope you guys are doing fantastic this weekend. I'm going to be posting this video up right now, right today. Well, not right now. I haven't recorded. Yeah, yeah. Press any key. Here we go. Stone Age, here we come. Look at this. Welcome to Dawn of Man. In this game, you control a band of ancient humans striving for survival. This tutorial explains the basics. You can check the in-game help for more advanced directions. Here's the in-game help. Uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Dawn of Man uses the FPS-style camera controls. Is that like first-person shooter-style controls? Move WASD. Q and E to rotate, and the mouse wheel to zoom. WASD, Q and E. Note, you can pivot the camera around and point uh, by rotating and panning at the same time. Very cool. You can check out more advanced things and like that. Bada boom, bada bing. Pretty cool. Normal stuff. Your people will need a constant supply of food to stay alive. One of the more predictable sources of food is fish from rivers and lakes. Uh, to send people to the fish, select the river, then click the fish button. Ooh, look at how pretty that looks. So yeah, as you can see, we have a fish amount, we have a mud amount, and then we have a fish button. So that's pretty cool. In general, you can assign tasks to your people by selecting objects like trees, rivers, animals, structures, then choosing one of the options in the selection panel. Like I could probably say cut or whatever. Next, you should gather some basic construction and crafting materials, like sticks and flint. Oh, I see. Like flint, stone. Hey, flint stone. Okay. Uh, it is the Stone Age. Sticks. Cool stuff. So send someone to gather sticks. Hey, you. Boy. Corrigle the boy. Go get me some sticks. Cool, we can send child labor. Nice. Uh, go get the flint that it's pointing at, just because, you know... Let's do what it says. The number keys 1, 2, 3, 4 are controlling the speed of time. Hey, how you doing? You want to get some rocks just because you're standing there? And then you got that fish on. Very nice to see. Very nice to see. Man, I'm excited about this game. This is one that's been on my radar, and then I kind of didn't realize it's already March, and it's out, so here you go. You know how... You now know how to assign tasks to your people. This is a good way of micromanaging them. Oh, see, cool. We got a little rock pile and a other pile. Work area is... <clears throat> yeah, it's true. That's a lot of micromanagement. So too much micromanagement is tedious and inefficient. So don't you guys worry. The game's got you covered. Work areas are a way to give general commands to your settlement that people will perform continuously. You can specify a location a resource limit, and a max number of people to perform the act. So this is pretty cool down at the bottom. There's a lot locked because it's, you know, a tutorial. But we can do place work area. We're going to do that for fish. And you can't place it on the water. I've noticed. Oh, yeah, it looks like you can. Oh, you know what? You can't place it on deep water. That's like an actual walking path, which I didn't notice. Um, but I'm going to place this here on the coastline of this river, river line, and that's the uh, fishing area. So we need to gather sticks, and I'm going to, you can see them all highlight when we get over them, so I'm going to place this like here. Yeah, see no sticks over there. That looks good. We need to obtain some flint. Uh, there's flint. Wow, I didn't notice that stuff on the mountain. Ooh, look at that. That's a big uh, mountain Flint supply, so maybe that'll have more. Let's check that. 15 of 15. 10 of 10. Okay, it's got five more. 
Not that much, but that'll work. Uh, and then the last is uh, place and collect a wild plant harvest thing. And then it also looks like we're going to have stone and cut trees and extract water and tanning. Go get your tan on. No, not that kind of tanning. Uh, so we want to go where there's, I guess, like... Ooh, look at that. I can get both that tree and that tree. If I'm right here. Ooh, and the tree up on the hill. I like it. I like it like that. Okay, by default, only one person at a time will go to any given work area. You can increase this if required. So like sticks. I can say I want two people. Nope, three people gathering sticks. Okay. And I'm going to say a maximum of 15 units. And then for the flint, we need two workers. And I'm going to say 15. Just for fun. It's not telling me to, but... Sometimes you got to go above and beyond. Uh, wait for your people to get three units of sticks and flint. Well done. Your people will now continuously gather resources until the limit is reached. Note that berries can only be generated in summer. Other resources in the game can only be gathered... Uh, in particular, uh, particular seasons. Now that you have some raw resources, let's craft some hunting tools. With them, cool. The main crafting structure in the Stone Age is the crafter. The crafter. We be crafting. All right, we're going to get this rotated. Nope, nope, nope. I like it here because it's like, look at that, in between the stone and the sticks. Um, we can speed the game up here, or I can press the buttons. Top right shows that summer is moving up. Okay, it moves that way. We can also open all kinds of, like, resource panels, transports, resources. Interesting, cool stuff. But I have resources over here, so I like the customizable UI. You can either put things on this side or that side. To craft tools, select the crafter, and then click on a tool recipe. Cool. We need some wooden spears and bifaces. Bifaces? Like a little... Okay, yeah, yeah, Sharpen them rocks. How many? Three and three. So you can see on the cloth, it's got that circle-y thing on it. That's continuous production. So anytime we get animal hides... I heard someone yelling over here. What happened to you? Oh, you're just washing yourself. Oh, they're drinking. So they just go to the wa the river to drink. Very nice. So we can see hydration and nutrition. Very similar, like, resource, uh, you know, management compared to, like, a planet base or something. But I like that they went from Mars colonization to... Oh, look at that. We got a knowledge point there. Um, to Stone Age stuff. I think this is going to be really fun. So good to see that it's already out the steam reviews are very positive i've again you saw i've only played like through some of the tutorial but i'm this is up my street right you know gathering resources building towns i think we're gonna enjoy it here on the channel Ooh, acquired 10 flint gave us some knowledge knowledge there is a research tree i think it's gonna walk us through all that but we are waiting for tools to be crafted can see up here the slot where they go and collect some materials he's going to go get some sticks drop those off and now he's crafting on a uh, wooden spear you can even see the percentage down 51 64 77 90 and done look at that the next person's coming on over working on it we got double trouble a little social time this is as zoomed in as i can get there is a uh, follow which I think is pretty cool. We now have all the tools we need to go hunting. Look at that. Speaking of hunting. Hunting was a tricky business in the Stone Age. Killing a large animal with sticks and stones was no easy feat. And you guys should watch uh, Murph play some Far Cry Primal. Uh, use Primal Vision to find... Oh, speaking of that, Primal Vision. Sweet. All right, let's get out of this view. And uh, if I hit Tab... Wom, 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 wom. Look at this. It shows all the animals. It shows all the minerals. Uh, wow, we have 
aurochs, wild donkey, a boar, a mufloon, I don't know, all kinds of weird animals wandering about. Oh, a woolly rhino? Hold on, tab. Oh my goodness, that's a woolly rhino. Um... So let's hit tab again. Ooh, look at all this prey. Wow, there's mammoths I didn't even see. Um, that guy. Let's hunt the boar. Wow, name of the game, Dawn of Man. You see the mammoths. Gotta take a screenshot of that. I'm going down, getting to drink. You know, I bet they have, look at that. They have hydration and stuff as well, so the animals will come to the watering uh, places. So if there's a lake or a river, you can use that to hunt. But boy, if we started fighting these, they would fight back, and I don't know if they would, like, group up against us, but I could see it happening. I'm gonna also say, oh, I can't say hunt you. Who's gonna go hunt? Anybody? Anybody? Wait for your people to hunt the animal. Anyone going to go hunt? Are you going to go hunt? You're going for sticks. Okay. Um, how about you? Do you want to go You want to go hunt? Anybody? No? Is it because he's over there? I mean, look at this guy. He's coming. Come here. Let's hunt this guy. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. He's going after the boar. You can go just go back to doing whatever you were doing. Oh, they actually had to swim a little bit. Uh, let's go. Aye. Camera view. Aye is going to show us how to get this done here. Oh, nice little pear tree out here. Oh, sneak up. Shh. <laughs> Hello, wild boar. You are mine. Oh, with the spear shot. Single shot. Once the animal has been hunted, your people will butcher it and bring the resources to camp. No assigning workers and stuff. They seem to kind of do it. Sometimes you might want more control over your people's actions. You can do this by selecting a few of them. Right-clicking on a terrain or target. This way you can move people around, assign tasks. Very cool. Send two people to hunt the same animal. So let me hit escape. Oh, I see those mammoths coming. Let's not hunt the mammoths, but let's find... Could we, should we send the children? No. Uh, actually, that'd be kind of funny. Can we... Can we send... The children? How do I click multiples? Ah, I was holding shift. And then I'm going to say tab... And I want you guys to hunt... Children cannot perform task hunting. We learn something new every day. Okay, if you, and then shift you, go get um, this guy. Let's see how this goes. Going after something a little bit harder, you can check out the help in the game for more detailed instructions on ways to control your people. One of the resources you obtained from animals was raw skins. Okay, so we need to build skin dryers. So let's get... And if you hold shift, you can add multiples. So that's cool. Because we needed two of them. Oh, he's running. You running, buddy. Running by swimming. These guys are after you. Well, not really the child. But... I'm in. Unfortunately, you can't change the names. I hope they, they work on that. They should... Every game should know by now. People are going to stream these games, and people are going to want to name these things. Um, let's go a little bit faster. Let's get a... Oh, wow, look at them all run. Oh, what was happening over here? We're not hunting the, the mammoths. Sorry, I'm moving a bunch out here. Craziness are happening. Anyway, let's get on here. We're sneaking up. This is not going to be an easy fight. It could fight back. Oh, hello. Don't mind me. Ooh! Got it in one. Alright. We're going to escape. We're going to go full speed. 
And we need to watch them build. We're acquiring knowledge from hunting. So it's basically, it looks like first time you do a lot of things. First time you hurt, uh, hunt. First time you gather a certain resource. We're going full speed. Nice. You can actually see them placing the skins here. They're going through their percentages. They're being produced. This is very familiar for this style game. And now we have a dry skin and a raw skin, which is still being processed, almost done. You can actually see it visually change as well, which is pretty sweet. Always keep a stock of dry skins as they are fundamental building and crafting materials in the early eras. In the game, you will earn knowledge points when doing certain actions, hunting new animals, gathering new resources. That's what we were just talking about. So if I press F7... Oh, no, not yet. The food drying tech unlocks the food dryer which allows you to process raw meat and raw fish stored for winter. So let's hit F7 to open our tech panel. We're going to do food drying. As you can see, there's all kinds of cool stuff. Pottery. So we're going to play from uh, the Paleolithic to the Iron Age. So that's pretty cool. My kind of age to play. I like doing that kind of stuff. Um, food drying unlocked. Very cool. So now we can build the food dryer. And we can build a storage tent, which... Let's just get that right there. And then we're going to build the food dryer. Let's put that kind of by the fire, right? You don't have to, but... I'm going to, and then I'm going to hit that... Use the 4 button to go full speed. And this will be nice because we needed somewhere to store um, a lot of the goods. And I really like the style that they have on this once you see when it's done. And it's very easy. It fills up in the storage. Or maybe it's not there. Where is it? Empty contents. Oh, like here. In the rock pile. I can choose what's allowed. I always like choosing in my warehouses what's allowed. I think that's just a great thing to have. Oh, now I'm noticing the condition is dropping. I don't know who can, uh, for example, like repair. I can make them go to the tent and rest. Um, yeah, there's all kinds of little things like that. It de deteriorates quickly and needs periodic maintenance. So we'll see how that goes. Maybe when it's hurt enough, people just automatically go and start helping out and such. Uh, so if we click on it now, check that out. You can actually see the fish and the meat hanging on out there drying. Remember to always dry your food and keep it in the storage structure to preserve it for as long as possible. Uh, manually producing everything is tedious. You can right-click on the recipe for continuous production. Like, as you can see, they're spinning because of that. Um, enable continuous production on these three items. Cool. Easy enough. That'll be for fishing and hunting. Your people will now continuously produce the tools until the resource limit is reached. Very cool. If everyone is well fed and taken care of, your settlement will reach a high level of welfare and prestige, which will let more people move in. There's knowledge. There's population. Uh, capacity is six, so I need more huts, which is exactly what it's telling me to do. Uh, and I'm just going to hold shift so I can place multiples and build one. Build two. Press that four key, get things a moving, but it's, uh, it's looking pretty good. We're doing okay. We've got meat, fish. As you can see, these are cooking quite nicely. Cured meats. Um, yeah, look at that. Cured meats and such in here. Eventually we'll be able to upgrade to a, a thatch hut. I like that you don't have to totally rebuild. We can actually just upgrade to a hut. Uh, resources uh, decayed, the berries. That's too bad. New humans will now join your settlement. Note that your settlement can also grow 
when your people reproduce. This plays a more important role uh, when you reach larger populations as you can have a large number of births. Which I remember that, you know, if you guys ever played like Banish the, uh, you know, you gotta be careful of death waves and how people are having children and all that. Uh, you now know the basics of how to run a settlement. Note, there are quite a few other mechanics in the game that are not explained here. You can get more info from the loading screen, hence UI tooltips, and check the comments of the video, because I'm sure you guys are going to have all kinds of cool tips about it. But that was it. We finished it. I am excited to be playing this game and bringing it to you folks on the channel. Just wanted to bring this tutorial in. Uh, it's, it's, I'm excited for this weekend. I'm going to go out and have some uh, birthday plans set up. Um, but I was excited that I was able to sit down and get this recorded right quick. So you guys have a fantastic weekend, uh, and I'll catch you next week with something new. Probably a little bit more RimWorld, a little bit of this, a little bit of something, something. You guys let me know what you'd like to see, and have a wonderful one. Take care, everybody. We're going to say okay. Catch you next time on the Dawn of Man on Monty Plays Games. <laughs> I'm out. Take care, everybody.